Hey guys, Blue Commander here, back with another video in the probability and statistics series. In this video, I will be covering two methods for deriving the um, moment generating function of the gamma distribution. So firstly, as always, let's start off with a reminder of what the moment generating function is. It is defined as the expected value of e to the tx, which for the continuous case is the integral over the entire support of e to the tx times f of x dx. Now in the scenario that we have a gamma distributed random variable, let us say that x is distributed as gamma, with the shape parameter alpha and the rate parameter of lambda, then by using the definition of the moment generated function, phi x of t, which usually denotes the MGF of x, is going to be equal to the integral from zero to infinity of e to the tx times lambda e to the negative lambda x multiplied by lambda x to the power of alpha minus one divided by alpha minus one factorial dx. Make this not okay. Now, what we notice here, we have a tx here and we have a lambda x here, and we also have a lambda over here and a lambda over here. So, let's group these lambdas and bring them outside of the integral. And since we have lambda to the power alpha minus one multiplied by lambda to the power one, we are left with lambda to the power alpha, and let's put a fraction here from zero to infinity of e to the negative lambda minus t of x multiplied by x to the power alpha minus one over alpha minus one factorial dx. Now there's something important that I want to point out to you here. I wrote this as a negative and having a lambda here because we want to transform this lambda over here into lambda minus t so that we can have a, the PDF of a um, gamma distributed random variable with the shape parameter of alpha but a right parameter of lambda minus t. So let's try to rewrite the, this part inside the integral as this PDF and this PDF will have the form lambda minus t e to the negative lambda minus t x multiplied by lambda minus t x to the power alpha minus one all of this divided by alpha minus one factorial this will be f of x the probability density function for this gamma random variable which is equal to this so to achieve this we're going to have to multiply by a lambda minus t to the power of alpha over here and we're going to have to divide by lambda minus t to the power alpha this means that this left hand side can be resolved to lambda over lambda simplifying to lambda over lambda minus t to the power of alpha and we have now the integral of lambda minus t e to the negative lambda minus t x multiplied by lambda minus t x to the power alpha minus 1 divided by alpha minus 1 factorial dx. And again we can see that this is simply the PDF, f of brackets f of x, of a random variable that's distributed as gamma, the shape parameter of alpha and the right parameter of lambda minus t. And since we're integrating over the entire support of f of x dx, and we know this will simply integrate to one, that means the moment generating function is equal to lambda over lambda minus t to the power alpha for t has to be less than lambda. And that's that. That's the first method for deriving the moment generating function of a gamma uh, distributed random variable by using integration and by changing the probability density function. So this method relies on the fact that we can real we realize that this e to the tx 
can be multiplied with this exponent over here to make e to the negative lambda minus t, which then becomes our new rate parameter. So we try to then transform this whole integral into this probability density function with some constant multiplied at the front, which is this. And then this integral is evaluated to be one, and we're left with the constant here on the left-hand side, which is lambda over lambda minus t to the power of alpha. And this is the moment generating function of a gamma distributed random variable, x, which has a shape parameter alpha and a rate parameter of lambda. This is method one. The second method that I would like to introduce involves um, some of the properties of the gamma distribution, and in particular that the exponential distribution is a special form of the gamma with a shape parameter of 1 and a right parameter of lambda. So if we have a set of I, I, D exponential random variables with a right parameter of lambda, if we have alpha, if we have alpha number, let me just use this to indicate number, if we have alpha number of IID exponential random variables with a right parameter of lambda, then the summation of these, of the alpha exponential random variables will be distributed as a gamma random variable with a shape parameter of alpha and a rate parameter of lambda. And to write this in more formal notation, there is a rule that if we have the moment generating function of x plus y of t, if x and y are independent, then the moment generating function of their sum can be written as the product of their individual moment generating functions. Now, how we, do we apply this to the gamma distribution? What we do is we say, let w be equal to the summation from i is 1 to alpha of xi of t, where each xi is a distributed iid as an exponential with the shape parameter uh, of course, it's going to be gamma with the shape parameter of 1, but the exponential with the right parameter of lambda. So that means we're interested in finding m w of t, which is equal to m of the summation from i is 1 to alpha of x i of t, which we know because they are all independent, can be written as m of x1 of t multiplied by m of x2 of t multiplied by the moment generating function of x alpha of t. Now in my previous videos, um, we have seen that if x is distributed as an exponential random variable, then its corresponding mgf is lambda over lambda minus t. So since we have the product of alpha such moment generating functions, then we know that mw of t is simply going to be equal to lambda over lambda minus t to the power of alpha for t less than lambda. And this is the second way in which we can derive the moment generating function of a gamma distributed random variable. So there are always many ways to skin a cat. You can go by reasoning that the exponential distribution is a special case of the gamma, and thus it means that, that if we have the sum of alpha in independent, identically distributed exponential random variables, then we can rewrite 
the, the, the moment generating function of W, which is the sum of these exponential random variables, as the product of the individual moment generating functions, which we know are each lambda over lambda minus t. And since we have lambda over lambda minus t multiplied by itself alpha times, we know that this means that the moment generating function of W is going to be lambda over lambda minus t to the power of alpha. This is one of the ways to derive the moment generating function of a uh, gamma distributed random variable. And the other way is the, first, is the first part of this video where I showed you how we can, by changing the, the integral into a familiar gamma, a new gamma distributed random variable, in particular gamma with a right parameter of lambda minus t, uh, we can again evaluate the moment generating function and then find it easily. So there are many ways to go about this and um, whichever way suits you best in general if you have to go derive it out um, from scratch. But the best is to remember that if you remember the exponential one is lambda over lambda minus t and since the gamma is essentially just counting alpha independent exponential random variable, identically distributed exponential random variables. And if you can remember the exponential one, simply put the gamma to the power of whatever the exponential uh, one is. If you need to derive it, you can use either of these approaches. Both of them are completely fine. And both of these approaches are the only approaches really that will be asked of you to derive the uh, moment generating function of a gamma distributed random variable. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you've enjoyed it. This video concludes the theoretical parts for the gamma distributed random variables. Congratulations, you've finished the gamma distributed uh, set of videos and I hope you enjoyed them and I hope I have made your pursuit of the studies of statistics easier. Boer Commander, out.